back, and he gets the football. And he's got room. Harris into the secondary. In the nose territory. And finally, forced out of bounds inside the 45. He only has 43 yards rushing. That's 10 more yards than he has passing so far. Play action from the pocket. Takes it down. Field shot. Ridley is running free. He's got it. Touchdown. Tied. struggle for the Seminoles. Flag in his box. Alabama blocks the punt and is scrummed down at the five-yard line. Damian Harris, a huge play. Harris bursts free and scores. Hurts. With good blocking in front of him, and there goes Jalen Hurts. Hurts towards the pylon, and he is in for a touchdown. Tenth play of this Alabama drive is a Hale Hedges touchdown. Inside the tackles to make the play. Harris with the cut and the push for the touchdown. The athleticism they have will be around quick. I'm curious to see how Baker Mayfield's going to look tonight. Anthony Averitt with the interception. And he's inside the 10-yard line. First career pick for the Red Shirt Senior. Time's opening drive. Hurts. Still loose. Touchdown tied. for his career. Hurts over the middle, caught, Ridley. Goodbye. Cash money, touchdown. 78 yards. It's not what they normally like. Rams blitzing, Hurts gets it away in time. First down complete to Foster. Putting his legs to work, the turbo in, touchdown. and goal from just inside the 10. Scarborough. Touchdown. When you come to our house, we show you how to play some SEC ball. It don't matter where you're from. You don't know what ball we play. Alabama, you're next. Shermer deep on the middle, in and out, and into the hands of Alabama, intercepted by Ronnie Harrison. Low snap. Scarborough is going to walk in. Touchdown, Alabama. Alabama lines up quickly on a second and one. Harris, this time as a runner, and he cuts it outside. Damian Harris, can they catch him? Inside the 30, forget about it. Harris, touchdown, 61 yards.
going to test that right side. Finds a seam inside the 20 and still muscling his way all the way down to the one yard line is Damian Harris. Shifts for this first play. He's got it. And he creates a crease. And off the running is Damian Harris into the secondary. Foot race. Harris to the house in the first play. Twenty-nine yards sets up the first and goal. Harris having to bounce it. Chase, and he'll be able to fight through tackles and score and set the touchdown tonight. Make it to Harris. Hurts just scores standing up. Really the three rookies in the game. Hurts finds one of them for a touchdown. Henry runs the third. flowing, nothing will. Feels so mad at himself after that miss. Hurts, plenty of time. Going to air it long. Man there, got him! Complete to Henry Ruggs. And for Henry, that's his first catch this year that hasn't been a touchdown. starting to collapse and he's going down and it's Deron Payne bringing it. The pain that is. This is maybe his last chance and he's not going to get a chance. Down he goes, Dylan Moses. Alabama takes over. Mississippi State, everybody standing up. They bring pressure. Hurts pass pulled in for a first down. Ridley wide open. He makes a defender miss and still going. Ridley past the 30-yard line. Ridley.
Finally to the 10. And finally they get him out of bounds. And the one that's Scarborough in the backfield at 240 pounds, but it's Hurts going to the perimeter. And pushed out of bounds, but he got in. Touchdown, Alabama. throw for Hurts. Climb in the pocket, but everybody covered, so he takes off. Now airs it out. Ridley is free again! On first and goal, Jacobs into the end zone. Touchdown, Alabama! my privilege to present the 2017 SEC football championship trophy to coach Kirby Smart, the University of Georgia Bulldogs. I think this team deserves the opportunity to get in the playoff uh, by what they've been able to accomplish and what they've been able to do. Does Alabama deserve to get in this playoff? Well, the deserve is one thing. Should they be in there? Do they deserve to? Probably so. They've been the number one football team all year. And if you're telling Tim, me that it's the four best teams, Max, then it can't be who's most deserving, undefeated. It has to be the four best teams. So what has to happen for Alabama to get into the playoff? Well, if you're Alabama, you want chaos. If you're Alabama, you want Ohio State to win the Big Ten. You want maybe TCU to jump in. You want to compare resumes. But... Are, are, are we not going to talk about that 55 to 24 win? Place about to explode. Okay, that's fine. I don't like Ohio State. Okay. I told you. I got Wisconsin. And you and me both know if right here in the Mercedes-Benz Dome, if Alabama played Wisconsin, they would probably beat the brakes off of them. If you had to take your salary and put it on one of the teams to win, who are you putting it on? Alabama, Ohio State. Alabama. Alabama. Everybody has <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. So why are we debating okay. here? I think the, the one thing, it's a very difficult thing for for this committee to come up with these answers right now, Kirk, because 
because of the polarizing nature of the two teams. There will be committee members in that room that simply think Alabama is better than Ohio State, as evidenced by their number five ranking right now. Does that all outweigh Ohio State's Big Ten title? But on this day of all days, let's clear the table yes. and look at the screen and go, okay, which one is the best team? Yep. And Alabama is better than Ohio but State. Giving up who should be in that four spot? I think I, think, <laughs> I, I already said it. I already yeah. said I think it should be Alabama. Alabama. Ohio State, better wins. Ohio State. We're, we got a split. Number four and going to the playoff to face Clemson will be. The Alabama Crimson Tide <laughs> for the fourth straight year. Is there, is there somebody missing Herb Street. Hey, no, come on, come Herbie. The set. Herbie, come back. I, I cannot We, we I have a first the time come, come that back. two teams from the same conference are going to the playoff. Alabama's been in every playoff now, and we get Clemson, Alabama, part three.
in. They hand it. No, they keep it. And sprinting to the edge. The Dogs! Bark it in the first half. Chris, thank you very much. Under 100 yards offensively, Nick. What do you have to do to change it? Well, we got to do something. I mean, we just can't move the ball effectively. We haven't been able to throw it effectively at all. So, uh, and I don't think it's just all the quarterback. I think it's the whole whole group. We got to get open. We got to protect better. And you know, defensively, we're making too many mistakes, especially on third down when we got a chance to get off the field. So, had plenty of chances to stay in the ball game and get things fixed at halftime. Appreciate it. Thank you. escape and create and now he's in the clear the freshman shows some toughness creating a desperately needed third down throwing again end zone touchdown Henry Ruggs we got a freshman quarterback duel in Atlanta and the Tide are back in it First down, batted in the air, picked off. The tide respond, Raekwon Davis. It's another big man interception. From pressured sacks, right up the middle was Raekwon Davis who made the pick, and now that drive killer. Four tailback bounces it. Now G. Harris in the clear. A powerful run, still battling and slung out inside the ten by Roquan Smith. Motion puck of it all fakes the run, and now he's going to flip it to Harris in the flat. Makes a man miss. And Damian Harris, after a frustrating night, spins across the 50 into Georgia territory. Tungabaloa, plenty of time, surveying the field, fires end zone, touchdown! Calvin Ridley finally makes an impact. First down play, Devin Bellamy got him back in the front. 